in order to become more comfortable in CS2, you need to play on a fitting sensitivity for your own individual preferences. Whether you're a seasoned FPS player or just stepping into the world of Counter-Strike, mastering your sensitivity is the key to unlocking your full potential. So in this video, we're gonna unravel everything you need to know in order to find your own ideal sensitivity and elevate your gameplay. The whole process of finding your sensitivity starts with converting real life coordinates on your desk or mouse pad rather into virtual coordinates that your operating system can process and relay to games running on your PC. This is done by an optical hardware sensor that's sitting right underneath your mouse, which you can tune yourself by changing the so-called DPI or dots per inch setting on your mouse. In a nutshell, in order to translate real world coordinates into virtual coordinates, the sensor underneath your mouse projects a grid onto the surface below your mouse, where there are X number of detection points along a straight line, depending on the DPI value of this sensor. When you move your mouse, you can think of it as traveling over these detection points, and every time you pass over one of these points, the sensor is telling your operating system that the user has just moved his mouse one point left, right, up or down. And the operating system then moves the mouse cursor on your desktop by a set amount of pixels in the according direction. So by increasing your DPI value, you're going to hit more detection points, which in turn causes your cursor to move a greater distance and vice versa. Naturally, one might now immediately turn the DPI setting to the max since a higher value equals higher precision, right? While this assumption is absolutely true, unfortunately, we humans are error prone. Imagine you want to flick your mouse from point A to point B in a straight line. If you were a robot or are playing with an aimbot, like unfortunately many players in CS2 currently are, that's easily possible. But otherwise, your trajectory is gonna look more like this. So you're gonna hit some unwanted detection points on your way, which causes your cursor movements to have a greater inaccuracy when compared to the ground truth of the straight line you initially wanted to trace. This more or less boils down to higher DPIs having less latency, since you will hit the detection point in any direction after a shorter distance, but you're also prone to hitting some unwanted detection points Whereas lower DPI settings have a higher latency, but due to the greater distance between them, the signal, in our case the movements of our mouse, will be smoother. For an ideal balance, you want your DPI to be in the 400 to 1.6k range, where anything outside of this area is gonna amplify the issues mentioned before. In the following part, I'm gonna show you a few guidelines you should stick to when choosing your sensitivity. But first, if you're new to CS or FPS games in general, I'd recommend you to take a look at what in-game sensitivity the pros are playing on a site like prosettings.net for instance, where you want to look at the eDPI column, where eDPI or effective DPI is just the DPI value of your mouse multiplied by your in-game sensitivity. After you've chosen a baseline, it's time to do some incremental adjustments. Start by loading up a session on aimbots or any similar map from the Steam Workshop and point your crosshair on a bot that's a medium distance to you, since this is the kind of distance you'll have most gunfights on. Then start running left and right while trying to keep your crosshair on the bot as precise as possible. If you notice yourself overshooting, lower your sensitivity by 0.1 or if you can't correct quickly enough or correcting feels like it requires too much effort, increase your sensitivity by 0.1. Keep iterating this process with a step size of 0.1 until you want to lower your sensitivity while having it increased before or wanting to increase your sensitivity while having it lowered before. Every time you reach such a point, you want to half your step size, so instead of changing your sensitivity by 0.1, you will now keep adjusting it by 0.05. And finally, by 0.025 until you're happy with the result. And this should give you a sensitivity that's ideal and optimized for yourself. For instance, I'm on 1.6k DPI and starting on a sensitivity of 0.5. For me, this feels like I have to move my arms way too much, so I'm gonna increase it by 0.1 to 0.6. Still feeling a bit too slow, so I'm gonna increase it to 0.7. Now, this is feeling kinda too fast, so I lower it by 0.05 to 0.65. Again, it's still a little too fast, so let's go down by another 0.025. And there we have it. 
a sensitivity of 0.625 feels perfect for my preferences. But before you leave the video, let me give you two more guidelines. Can you do a 180 degree turn with one swipe across your mousepad? If no, then you should reconsider your sensitivity as it's most likely too low. And secondly, are you able to do multiple 360s with one swipe? If yes, you should be aware that even though we too have a face scan, this isn't Call of Duty and you are not doing any trick shots here. So do yourself a favor and lower sensitivity. Of course, there are gonna be some outliers, but the vast majority of players won't be able to extract the best performance with such extreme settings. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this video helped you out. And why not click the right icon and subscribe for more educational CS content or on the video to your left, big data things you're likely to enjoy as well. As always, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!